everybody, what's up? Uh, my name is Lance, I'm from Say, and I'm here to talk about the coffee that we gave uh, y'all to taste for the leaderboard competition. So this time around, we gave you a Ethiopian coffee. Um, this coffee comes from a area in Ethiopia called Benza, which we've been working in for a little while now and we're really excited about. Uh, the site itself is called Hamasho. And uh, yeah, we've been working with this site for about four, maybe five years. Um, it has consistently produced some of our favorite coffee out of Ethiopia. Uh, this site is pretty extreme elevation. It's at like 2,400. Some of the trees uh, producing cherry around here grow even higher than that. So um, it's also probably one of the highest elevation coffees anywhere in the world that we work with. Um, and yeah, so how would I go about identifying this coffee? Well, first off, uh, just the size of the seeds themselves should have been a pretty good giveaway that it was an Ethiopian coffee. Um, nowhere else really in the world do we see seeds that are quite this small. Uh, these seeds are super, super, super tiny. Uh, so that should have been at least an indication. Um, and I guess the next, the next part would just be the actual flavor profile. Um, in this coffee, we get a lot of peach, watermelon, definitely some florality going on. Um, and yeah, really nowhere else in the world do we see also this sort of flavor profile in coffee. With, I guess, maybe, maybe one could argue with the ex exception of Panamanian geishas, but um, this is a pretty typical Ethiopian profile. The hard part about this coffee is the processing. So this is a honey processed coffee, um, but it is super, super, super clean. So we really don't get any fermentation in this cup at all. Um, so that would get that would be pretty difficult to um, actually identify. So if you do taste this coffee directly next to the washed counterpart of this coffee, uh, you will notice that the honey process does have a little bit more fruit, um, but the fruit stays really, really fresh um, and it doesn't in any way go into fermentation. So that's something that we really, really appreciate about this coffee. Um, and the washed coffee has a little bit more acidity, a little bit leaner, isn't quite as round, isn't quite as um, complex in the fruit characteristics. Uh, so, that was, that was pretty challenging, but I hope some of you got it right and uh, also had some fun and learned something in the process. All right, thank you.